I tend to think that the, the way I look at big data is it's enabling us to do things we couldn't do before. It's, it's enabling us to run workloads uh, that we couldn't do before either for cost reasons or performance reasons. And so whereas a lot of people focus around big data as systems like Hadoop and multi-structured data, I actually think big data is much broader than that. It's about supporting new kinds of workloads and that may involve a bunch of different technology. It may be um, analytical relational databases, it may be non-relational systems like Hadoop, it may be streaming systems, and of course in the case of composite, you know, virtualization sort of fits into that picture as well. And so it's not just about things like Hadoop and, and multi-structured data, that's a piece of it, but there's a whole bunch of other systems that also enable us to do things we couldn't do before, and that's what's exciting to me. The, the advice on big data I think is, is Yes, by all means understand the technologies, but to really not just look at sort of how much data you got or the kinds of data, but to look at what you want to do with that data and, does it, and then look at you know, the kind of transformations you want to do it on, the kind of analytics you want to do it, look at the, the complexity of that. Uh, and then match the technology that supports those complex workloads and then re but really focus on on the data and what you want to do with it and the kinds of applications you can build that will give you the best business benefit. I think uh, it, it's an exciting time I think uh, there's a lot going on and, I, and, and there's a lot of confusion going on and that's the challenge I think and it, it is back to not always focusing on the technology and it sounds old hat to say to focus on the on the business cases, but it is, you know, look at, look, not just look at data, look at what you're trying to do with it. Look at the workloads involved with that and then look at that from a business benefit viewpoint, not just focus on, on the technologies and how much data I've got, you know, certainly from a big data viewpoint. Now I think what's happening is that we have quite a diverse set of data that we wish to analyse using business intelligence tools and, and things like that. And that's not only structured data in operational systems, it's data in enterprise data warehousing systems, it's data that's being uh, materialized through, through web services. Now we've got multi-structured in Hadoop systems. So I think virtualization fits in very well there because you can actually provide a semantic layer in front of these different sources. So it's not just about trying to do things uh, rather than trying to bring the data in the data warehouse, you try and virtualize that. It's more, I think companies are now looking at virtualization as a, as a way of building a layer in front of all these sources. And so, yes, some of that may be in the enterprise data warehouse, but we can bring these other sources in and, and look at it from an analytical viewpoint. So I think there's increasing interest in putting these virtualized layers, semantic layers in front of this, this data. So to me, you know, I think data virtualization is very exciting there. It's at last coming into sort of fruition and maturity and has some great value.